Hey! Today! What? We're... What? Unboxing... What? This thing! Yeah! After the Empire's by Grey Fox Games! We're doing it! Whoa! Hello, hello, welcome to Crackle Up. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Today we are unboxing After the Empire by Grey Fox Games. Why are we unboxing this game? Uh, because we received it in the mail by surprise. That was the answer I was going to give as well, yeah. because <laughs> it has shrink rack on it. So Yay! it needs to be unboxed. Uh, Jan, what is this game? Uh, so this is a tower defense and, and tableau building game. why should they care? Tower Defense and Tableau Building Game. It's one of the most recent from Gray Fox Games. Uh, it has been getting fantastic praise sure. across the industry sure. so far. People been. are loving it they and it's it. just arriving right. to ki from to Kickstarter backers. Um, and it, I believe, is also going to be available at retail. There are two editions. There's a deluxe edition and then the retail edition. I believe this is going to be the retail edition for us. No idea. No we idea. don't know until we open it. Here's the thing. What this game is going to be, and this is what piqued my interest. This mm -hmm. is why I'm excited and why when you said you're stealing it from me, I said... You're not. I'm totally ransacking your castle, by the way. Listen. It's going to be mine. This is going to be a tower defense and worker placement game. Mm -hmm. So Euro mechanics combined with this strategic tower defense, and I'm always looking for a good tower defense game. Mm -hmm. Now, like any of our unboxings, we're not only going to have fun as we open it up, we know enough about this game to talk to you about the components and the gameplay as we Whoa. dip in. But, of course, we always have to start mm. in After the Empire. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? I forgot how good your voices are. Mm. <clears throat> Don't look disappointed. You love reading flavor text. In After the Empire, you are the ruler of a small kingdom that has existed in the shadow of the Empire for generations. Constantly feuding with your neighbors, you have held little power until now. The Empire has fallen, but a new threat has risen. Hordes of invaders are looting the countryside in search of spoils. Barbarian And scum. you know you are next. Unfortunately, years of constant warfare and deep-seated hatred has made it impossible to work with your rivals. You must defend your people, build your kingdom, and rise above the rest. I just like imagining... Uh... I like imagining like a mad like I'm a mad king in tattered robes standing on top of my papal castle, just mm -hmm. shouting, "You barbarian scums! You shall not break down these walls." What is balls. up with you and this knife lately? Just, I like this just, knife. Just put it down. I got it, I got it for Christmas. Lord. It's a Spider Co. Paramilitary Three uh, Everyday Carry. Um, okay, not not an everyday carry video. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry about that. Wow, that was a good saran wrap unboxing. Mm-hmm. I think you overdid it with the third circle around the, the board itself. And I want to put this thing away. <laughs> After the Empire, is there any more flavor text? No, stop, no <sighs> more flavor text. You you get things to things, I'm going to do flavor text. Okay, so we the got... The Age of Empires is... <clears throat> Feudalism has arisen from the chaos, providing an air of stability. Slowly, prosperity begins to return despite the endless fighting. From your walled city, you, a medieval liege, rule the surrounding lands, settlements, and holdings granted to you by your birthright. This is your fiefdom. Other lords and ladies rule neighboring fiefdoms, the scum, and compete, it says that actually, mm -hmm. for resources in the unclaimed yet bountiful lands of the countryside between you. Tensions between rival fiefdoms were high, and petty feuds were common until scouts report a new deadly threat. Invaders! This new common enemy endangers the entire land. Refugees from fallen kingdoms seek shelter and bring tales of destruction. Each liege prepares their own city for the onslaught in hopes to remain unbroken. Build your city, arm your troops, upgrade your defenses, and defend your people. Your life, your wealth, and your legacy must all be protected at all. So the reason why you're here, let's talk about what we've unboxed so far. Super excited about this. So, first of all, we got their main board right here. Uh, this main board is going to be one of the main worker placement spots that we have Pop it on in there. the game. Pop it on there. Pop it on there. Ooh. Okay. So we have our main worker placement spot. Uh, this worker, this worker area or this main board is going to show us a few things. We're going to have where the enemies are going to come into. Uh, we're going to have different areas where we're going to be able to build up our troops, build, make new buildings. Why are you getting the... Okay. Mm-hmm. 
It's also going to determine where everybody is in terms of victory points, etc. This goal track is going to do two things. It's, it's also, it's going to show you both the amount of currency that you have available to yourself, but also who's likely going to be attacked the most as the game moves forward. Yeah, the more money you have, the more attractive you are to invading barbarian hordes. Now, Correct. This is the cool thing. This is this is going to be the universal stage, but this is going to be the actual game. Mm -hmm. These are going to be different castles that we all have available. And as invaders come in, like you said, we'll populate the board showing off a little bit, giving you some information on where you think they're marching from. Mm -hmm. But there'll be some hidden information up there as well, which you may be able to reveal throughout the course of the game to yourself. But overall, your main game is going to be here in your defenses. These barracks are going to be not only constructed with walls, which we'll grab in just a yeah. second, but also you're going to be able to doing a moderate or a mild amount of tableau building where you recruit people from neighboring cities that yep. are venturing in. They tell you tales of the people that are coming, give you some insight into what potential threats are mm -hmm. going to be arising, and they help you defend and protect your walls. Now, here's the cool thing, Jan. Walls? Actual 3D no. walls? No, actually, the cool thing is... Patented they, bag of baggies. They've added baggies for everything. Wow. Okay, well, that's pretty dramatic. Can't say I, I, I disapprove. So these slot in perfectly in there, and they everything just fits so very nicely. So for now, example, I'm just going to go ahead and build something here. There's going to be different types and stages of castle development. It'll be pretty straightforward, but for the most part, you'll start with wooden barracks. You can build wooden towers to defend those barracks, and then you'll... I can't figure out how these connect. There we are. There we are. <laughs> Common sense is how they work. Exactly. Uh, and then you'll also be able to upgrade to, like, a single piece here could upgrade to a stone wall. Now, a stone wall is going to provide more defenses, and a stone parapout, parapet, para turret, that. Oh, uh, there's also gates. So there's three types of components that you can build. You can build uh, gates, like these. You can build just standard walls, and you can also build these awesome little turrets. Now, super cool how it develops on your city mm -hmm, there, but mm -hmm. as invading hordes start marching through, these will help add uh, attack strength. Yes. These will help add defense. Mm -hmm. You'll have minions, little uh, meeple cubes that represent mm -hmm. the different people in your army mm -hmm. that'll be able to fire down or cast strength or add defense to each region. And depending on if you get overwhelmed or not, the you gates, may lose a wall, the and... The gates may fall. Speaking of enemies, in the retail edition, these are going to be your enemies. You have two types. You have your standard footmen, and you also have archers. Archers are going to deal damage directly to your people, while the footmen are going to, well, try and ransack your castle, bring down walls, and then take all your hard-earned loot. Not the very best... not the very best result. Uh, so here, Jesse's bringing out some more components. So first off, we have here our workers. Uh, there's two types of workers. You have your provided colored workers, and then you also have your gray workers. And these gray workers, basically what they're going to do is that it's a recompense in case you're not doing that hot. Uh, if you get your your castle ransacked, you're going to get an additional worker for the next round. The first time round. we played, you had like seven of them. When, oh, when we played? You mean with a sealed copy of a game? I just remember you do really bad. Mm, and you mean like the only one worker can be given out to a, to a catch of a player at all times? Mm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, that. Uh, you start the game off with only three workers, but as the season start progressing, there's seven total rounds in the game. Once you get to season three and then season six, you will get one additional worker so you can yep. do more and more as the game keeps going. And now you'll be able to go to the main board with your workers. You'll also be go able to go to your own little settlement and village. Now, some of these other cards I just pulled out. I have things like catapults yep. uh, that will scale in difficulty. I have ladders. Uh, I have the in the infernal army. I have classic archers, uh, fighting bands, uh, more fighting bands, all with different artwork though, which I actually appreciate. So here's the thing. There's two types of cards. You're going to have both your siege deck, and then you're also going to have then your invader deck. Both of these things are always going to start populating every round, and everybody has to deal with these common threats. The only thing that changes is the amount of threat that you get, as we the stated. The amount of threat you get, depending on how much gold you mm -hmm. have, and also the directionality of each of these cards. You can and that's see this little important. top row here. That will be the indicator for what direction they're coming in. You'll just shuffle and mix them up, and as you draw, you're going to be in trouble. Yep. Now, so this is uh, going to be the little bit of tableau building that I was talking about correct. before. That's going to be uh, our refugees. Yeah, so we have we have things like barracks. We have a ranger, a foreman, a ledger man, uh, a ledger man. A noble ballad, a ox cart, 
uh, Team Master, which I'm super excited about. Things like this are just <laughs> going to add more production and more city defense and ability. So, for instance, if I had the Oxcart Team Master, which, of course, I would, uh, you'd get Woodmill plus two and you'd get Quarry plus one. Mm -hmm. Stone and wood are going to be how you not only repair and develop your, your walls, yep. but also reinforce them. Uh, we have a plowman, a carpenter, a general. So much Stark, beautiful artwork on this. Miner, oh cook, prospector, watchman, loyal peasant, surgeon. And there's no duplicates? Stone cutter, not so far. Butcher. Wow. Uh, the demon barber. Oh. Uh oh. He doesn't sound very nice. We're going to move past him. We have a. Fa <laughs> that is the sexiest farmhand I've ever seen. Dear God, wow. Ray Fox. Wow. I mean, he's that's not. Like part, that's a novel. Listen, that's a, like a listen, Latino novel right listen, there. Listen, he's not working hard but I'm okay with that. Uh, we have the Blackmore <laughs> Trader, the Woodsmith, Mercenary Captain, Diplomat, Arrogant Noble, I like that. That's sort mm. of, I want the Tattered Noble too, though. <laughs> Garrison, Chapel, Bathhouse, Well, Marketplace. actually, now you're moving into These are going to be our buildings. city development, which mm -hmm. allows you to add worker placement zones to your board. Yep. Red Castle Inn, the Orchard, the Bakery, Irrigation, Vineyard. So many. Old John's Forge, Lookout Towers, Church, Old Cellar, Trap Turrets, Trap Walls, uh, Storehouse, Idle, Jesse? Archery Range. I think they can go through the cars themselves, I buddy. I thought they duplicate and they don't. They don't so duplicate one at all. now I want to look at them all myself. They're gorgeous. Uh, wow. The other Lord. thing we should note is there is wall destruction and then there is yep. also uh, fire. Yes. Uh, so in some of these you'll notice that there were some fire indicators. If your tower, for instance, is destroyed, <sighs> you it mean will these fire here? catch on fire to start mm -hmm. with. And, uh, it's not, great. It's not great. What were you going to show? What was the last thing you had yeah, there? Yeah, so actually, uh, another another element that I have here are our secret objectives. So one of the worker... I think we're going to have... Like, this is a very messy work, um, unboxing video, Jesse. What's going on? No, no, this is how we do unbox... You yes. haven't been on the channel for oh. like six months or so. So you, what you're saying is that I have to improve our methods so that we no, have no, no. cleaner unboxing no, no, videos. No, no, listen. Listen. This mm -hmm. is what the people are here for. Mm. Yeah. Where they can't tell what any... what. what this is madness. No, 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 I don't no, no. know what's happening. No, no, no. Not only will they have nice B-roll showing off how things are supposed to look, mm -hmm. but they also have the charm and intellect and entertainment provided by me mm. and my duck. Mm. Sadly, you're mm. probably a downgrade when it comes to the overall mm. production. Mm. My secret objective says here that I should probably just leave. Okay. Is that? And with that, thank you for joining us for an <laughs> unboxing of After the Empire by Gray Fox Games. Let us know. Do you have this game coming in? Are you excited about it? Did you skip over it initially like a madman? And yeah. what would you be willing to do this to protect solid. your fiefledom? Fiefledom? Fiefledom. Fiefdom. Exactly. What would you be willing to do to protect your fief fief fiefdom? <laughs> if you had five fiefdoms, how many fiefledoms would it take to protect those fiefs? Oh, Lord. Why do I keep forgetting the thing, the most important thing? Mm -hmm. Remember to do the important when thing. When you can't end the videos, because I just keep going on about how many fifeful. Look, regardless of what you do, fee five fo. Remember to do the important thing. Right on your feet. Get out and play some games. We'll see you guys next time. Only.